One of the coolest features in Apple's iPhone 11 lineup is called the U1 chip, with the U being short for Ultra Wideband Positioning, or UWB. But what the heck does that even mean? Well, the basic idea is that devices equipped with UWB chips can determine each other's position. And although the tech has been around since the early 2000s, it hasn't seen much adoption in consumer applications yet. The thing is, ultra-wideband signals take up lots of spectrum. They're about 500 megahertz wide, as opposed to, for example, Wi-Fi, which typically takes up only about 20 to 80 megahertz. And due to the laws of physics, a wide signal allows UWB to send very quick pulses. Furthermore, the speed at which UWB operates means that it can use what's called time of flight, similar to radar, to accurately locate objects. Now generally, you need multiple antennas for this technology so that the position of the other object can be triangulated. But Apple has been quite vague about how exactly they're going to do it. Anyway, what's so special about UWB? Because Bluetooth can also help you figure out where something is located over short distances. So why do we need it? Well, as it turns out, UWB is superior to Bluetooth in a handful of ways. Depending on how it's implemented, it can locate objects with a margin of as little as five millimeters, as opposed to about the one meter that you get with Bluetooth. And UWB can also update its position 10 times per second. And because UWB operates at a relatively low frequency, it should do a better job compared to Bluetooth of passing through walls and other objects, even though it's a short range technology. Combine that with data transfer rates of up to 27 megabits per second, way faster than Bluetooth, and UWB looks like it could be a very versatile little piece of technology. But what exactly is it gonna be used for? Well, at the iPhone 11 launch, Apple said that the U1 chip would make it easier to use AirDrop. You just point your iPhone at someone else's and it'll see that other person is close by and bump it to the top of the list for a file transfer. But that in and of itself isn't particularly exciting. The real potential is what Apple and especially third-party developers might do with it in the future. For example, UWB is more secure than Bluetooth because of the aforementioned support for time of flight. That means that UWB can be used as a check to ensure that someone attempting to send a signal is actually nearby. So imagine, for example, a smart door lock that will only unlock when it senses that the homeowner's phone is right in front of it or a car locking system that can beat the so-called relay attacks that rely on spoofing a signal from a transmitter that's actually farther away. There's also a rumor that Apple is working on a tagging system similar to Tile. So you could slap a UWB chip on something like your keys and your iPhone's U1 chip could help you find it much more accurately and more quickly than Bluetooth. There's also the potential to combine UWB with augmented reality. So searching with your phone's camera could cause the missing object to light up on your screen. UWB could also help you learn more about what's around you, facilitating interactive tours at the local UFO museum or tracking down hard to find products at the supermarket. UWB's precision and greater security could lead phone manufacturers to combine it with Apple Pay or Google Pay in order to buy something just by pointing your phone at it like a magic wand. And even if that's not your style, UWB could improve indoor navigation in large spaces like airports, malls, and convention centers. Of course, that sounds great, but it all depends on developers actually writing software for UWB and more gadgets than just iPhones incorporating UWB compatible hardware. But personally, I'm pretty hopeful that this tech is going to find its way into our lives sooner or later. Speaking of finding, I found a way to get to this segue. FreshBooks is a small business accounting software custom built for how you want to work. It's a simple way to be more productive, more organized, and to get paid faster. With FreshBooks, you can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. You can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games, and you don't have to take my word for it. You can try out FreshBooks for free for 30 days by going to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and entering techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. 
So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible, and don't forget to subscribe, because if you do, rats will live in your shoes. No, no, if you forget. <laughs>